Hey everyone, it's Tanya of Evil Scrapper, and um, I wanted to share with you a final, the final um, end product of this mini album I've been working on since November. It's been off and on since November, since I um, was busy moving and trying to get settled into my new place. But it is for a friend of mine, a really close friend of mine at work. His name is Tim Bodler. 15 years, or 25, I'm sorry, 25 years ago at the age of 15, he um, was told he had a week to live um, because he had brain cancer. And come November 2010, um, I am celebrating 25 years um, of life with him. And it was a special occasion. I also made him a guest book that everybody signed, and uh, he actually looks at that whenever he's, he's not feeling so great, and um, I'm happy to be a part of that. So um, so I finished it today, I finished the last layout, and then I added uh, Marion Smith's book closure with some, some trinkets, vintage trinkets. So that mini album to the right is and was supposed to fit in the box to the left, but because I embellished it too much, it doesn't fit. So, I'm still going to give him the box for him to put memories in from um, cards or whatever uh, that he got on the night of his um, celebration. So, the box was a Seven Gypsies box, and I covered it with um, the front and back. So, that's the back. There's the front, it closes with a magnet, and you open it, and I covered the inside as well. I believe those are Maya Road bloomers, I'm so bad, I don't know if they're Maya Road or Webster Pages, but I don't know, you guys can correct me, but I thought they were so pretty, and they went really well with this paper. Um, so here is the front cover, so it says celebrate life, um, I used my Cricut I believe. Um, switch hands here. Um, I used my Cricut, I believe. I, I cut out the score, uh, used Sukwing uh, tape, and then um, used microfine glitter on the 2.5. I even did it on the, um, the words life. Um, the book closure is here. Let's see if I can get a good glimpse of it for you. But, um, there's the book closure, and then I have um, some trinkets there, vintage trinkets. So, um, so let's open it up and let's show you. Now, some of these pages, some of you might who watch my Marion Smith videos might have seen some of these pages because I was um, some of them were my goals for the day to get done. So, um, stand up. I think it's better if I stand up. Um, so you open it up, and it begins with just a page that says my story. I put a bunch of flowers and some leaves, um, a little area where he can document um, times, dates, whatever, years. Um, it opens up and uh, these little closures actually move up so that it keeps this part down. But you flip it up and there he could put a picture or whatever he'd like to put there. Um, and then I put in, I use the, the texture fades um, embossing folders to uh, create like little notebook pages that he can write on. This page is just a, uh, a pocket with some tags. So there's three tags here. They each say something. I have a stamp that's on it. it says embrace, remember, moments, and uh, oh, I did remember twice, I guess. But those are three tags. Um, it opens up here. So I distress this um, kind of like envelope type thing. Um, probably with glimmer mist and uh, distress inks. Um, I attached the little booklet with um, these little charms and a key the key and um, you pull out the book so it's attached to it so it can't go anywhere so I die cut it out the shape and I created this little book I, I cut out the keyhole I believe it's of course there's a lot of Tim Holtz in here um, so when you open it up um, it has little has little areas where you can write so this is I stamped moments 
I took my uh, glue pen and I I glued I put some glue on the edges and then I put some uh, glitter down. So I left some of them blank. So just in case he has pictures, it says embrace. This one says treasure. This one says inspire and hope. And then um, it just goes right back in here. Um, this page uh, is, this is the first time I ever used the Tim Holtz uh, birdcage die. And so I, um, I used distress stickles on the birdcage to make it a little rusty like. And then I put a little chain at the top and then regular stickles down here on the stars. Um, here are some more tags and pockets. These two